Timberland sent me some free kicks, so we gonna unbox them, rock them, and talk about why I got them. And yo, you gotta stick around for that second one, because the second pair is extra special. First off, before we get into that, check out the state of these. Oh my, these are the only other Tims I've ever had, because I've had them for seven plus years you feel me look at this all cut up at the back ripped up in the front yo dirty busted up inside smelling rank yo still gets the job done though you feel me still got mud encrusted in there from 1973 holy what even is this bro they have a fossil in my shoe look at that somebody called dr grant bro but anyways on to better brighter and more beautiful things dun 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 First boot, the classic. Come on, the six incher. Know about those ones. <laughs> Got the guaranteed waterproof tag, laces. Smelling fresh, bro. Ten and a half. That's the size, baby. You know what they say about ten and a half. It's a pretty common shoe size, I think. And then on this side, we got 400 gram Prima Loft Timberland with the serial code, super official. Check that. Here's some cardboard, paper. Clearly, I've never done an unboxing before because I'm not the best at that. We also got this. We believe a greener future is a better future from planting trees to serving in our community. So shout out that. This box is made fully with recycled paper and printed with water-based inks. It's also reusable and recyclable so you can do your part. I like that. You know, they didn't really have to put all that there, but they did. So shout out Timberland for having a conscience you know but now what you're mainly wondering is why did timberland send me these shoes right and that's a great question see i'm a rapper and i appeared on the we love hip-hop network to freestyle and have an interview and in that freestyle i had a bar about time big spit big time big show i was in the same tim seven years in a row whole time on my grind now i'm gearing to go first i watch how to move now i'm steering the boat and basically I posted that online a clip of that on my instagram people tag timberland Timberland page saw it, I guess, and I got in contact with some people over there. They said, what's your shoe size and address? Because we want to send you some kicks. So they sent me these originals to upgrade my dusty, busty one. So let's see the side-by-side -side comparison. Look at that, yo. Gee, this is, I think this is looking a lot better. We can all agree already, yo. Holy, come on, come on. Madness. Let's check out this. And from the front skis, it's a clear wrap. Let me show that tag. Come on. Get rid of these old ones because I got these fresh, fresh. Bring, bring. But on top of that, Timberland said one was not enough. So they blessed me with a second pair and they did not disappoint on this one. Now, if you look at the box right here. It says 1973, 2023, but it's got the Timberland logo on the DJ turntables. Now, what does this all indicate? Well, the first Timberland boot was released in 1973. But you know what also started in 1973? Perfectly for me because I'm a rapper. It's hip hop, baby. They say the first party that really officiated hip hop by DJ Cool Herc happened on August 11, 1973 in the Bronx. So they took us back and gave us basically what they call the hip hop royalty boot. And you could already see by the coloring, maybe the color of what this boot's gonna be. Because check out the inside guts on this one, baby. Holy madness and right off the rip i don't even gotta take it off because it actually slid out perfectly it says august 11th 1973 hip-hop was born on sedwick avenue in the bronx new york a black history tribute to 50 years of hip-hop royalty that's beautiful right there man that's actually beautiful the box on this one's beautiful let me not break it let's just check out the shoe Woo! Let me tell y'all, both the shoes have a very different smell. You see the, the first original Timberland? Let me bust that back and just... This is, now, this is now a sniff test video. This smells like when you're in the change room at a store. This smells like you're in the sporting section of Walmart. Or you're at Mark's Work Warehouse or something like that. You feel me? But this... Bro, I don't know what they did to this. It smells like it should be illegal. This is a banned substance. What is this? It smells like paint, like I'm inhaling paint fumes. I think that's why it smells so good. <laughs> right here we got Sedwick Ave on the tongue, yo. That's cold. The purple with the gold like gloss, the purple graffiti spray paint style logo. And then the back, the back heel kind of just cold like boot style, tough, base gray. Ooh, holy. Oh, actually wild this box is crazy too it's just got like dope design work on it on the inside and stuff here's an aux cord and on the side on this side it says sedwick ab right here yeah I'm about to go to New York in July. I'm gonna have to pull up to Sedwick Ave in my Sedwick Aves. I think. I think it's only right, no? Crazy. 
dark purple new book oh and on the other one i didn't take that in here we go the date i was talking about established 8 11 1973 much love to timberland for sending these through no word of a lie i bought these for the winter of 2014 i still remember i caught these from champs with one of their like csg jackets it was like buy one get one half off so i got it from me and my little brother and i bought one of these my first pair of timberlands ever for some reason when i was in high school the popularity of tim's died down and before that my parents were not spending the money to get Tim's, you feel me? We were just getting Walmart boots. To get myself some Tim's was a big moment. And then I was like, yo, I got one. Like, I, I was always the type of person, like, with all my shoes ever since high school. I still have my first pair of Jordans from grade 10, you know? I always felt like, gotta take care of it. And so I tried to, but I guess it was busted up and I couldn't convince myself to, to get new ones. And there's actually a one winter where I tried and, like, there was some issue with the shipping or something. And then I was just like, ooh, maybe it's a sign to not cop on new Tim's. And then put it in a bar and lo and behold, yo, like, Timberland just sends those shoes to me. So let me take y'all outside and show you what the kicks actually look like on the feet. All right, let's get it. Yo, I just have to interrupt this real quick because I just have some crazy detail on these royalty kicks. Take this in. First of all, looking fire on, on, on the feet, right? But look at the, bro, the aglet on the kick, bro. Look at that. Look at that, yo. Jeez. It's an aux cord, fam. That's crazy on all of them. That's wild. Super wavy. Yeah.